I'm here to fulfill your childhood dream and tell you that yes, you can have a dragon as a pet. The bearded dragon is a reptile species that is awesome for beginners. These creatures are generally peaceful and don't require a lot of attention. Unlike other reptiles, these spiky animals love to interact with humans and even like to snuggle with their caretakers once in a while since they enjoy heat so much. Under proper supervision, you can take your pet out of its terrarium and let it explore your house or even take it outside for a walk. Just make sure you use a leash. Their pretty extended lifespan also makes them great pets as they can live to be anywhere between 8 to 15 years old. As for food, they love vegetables. So bearded dragons will be happy with things like broccoli, parsley, green beans, or bell peppers. Oh, just look at this bright smile and pink gills. Aren't they cute? This little creature is called an axolotl, and they're fully aquatic animals. They originally came from two specific lakes in Mexico City, and as a species, they're related to the salamander. If you're already in love with its tiny, cute fingers, Here's what you'll need if you want to take one home. A long tank of about 20 gallons is enough for a single grown-up axolotl. If you're looking to bring more into the family, you'll need at least 10 additional gallons for each extra member. Add a low-flow filter and place everything in a chilly room, and it should do the trick. These adorable amphibians can live around 10 years, and some grow to be over a foot long. These are nicknamed honey bears, even though their official name is kinkajous and they're a totally unique pet to have. The kinkajou is just about the size of your average cat. It's a rainforest mammal. Cousins to raccoons, these small furry animals are known to be playful and friendly if raised in captivity. At the same time, they can be really high maintenance, especially if you don't look into all the information surrounding this unique species. First, they need a lot of room to exercise. Otherwise, they can become fussy. Also, they need a variety in their diet like what they'd have in the wild. You'll need to add a lot of things to your shopping cart to keep them happy, like honey, fruits, but also insects and eggs. If you're a light sleeper, the kinkajou is certainly not the pet for you since they are more active during the night. To keep them from getting unhappy, you'll need to invest in lots of climbing structures and toys. Fennec foxes are native to the Sahara Desert, but they're also found in the US and some choose to have them as pets. Unique and cute as they are, these foxes are surely not the first choice for a lot of people since they, too, have some specific needs. First, they're really energetic and tend to become very annoyed if they don't get the attention they want, as they're very sociable animals. The fennec fox is not a domesticated animal, so it needs to be kept outside. Investing in a proper area for it is crucial. They do, however, keep it pretty modest when it comes to food. Fennec foxes will go for anything from meats to fruits and vegetables. If taken care of properly, they can live up to 15 years. These ones might be a bit harder to find, but they'd sure make one special pet if you're into small, furry… insects? The Venezuelan Poodle Moth looks like a combination of a Furby and Gargoyle, but in a cute way. These creatures were discovered in 2009 in the Gran Sabana region of Venezuela but there's little information on them. Scientists have yet to pinpoint their insect family, but they do suspect it might be a combination of different moth species, sort of a mutant. Another fun fact, that fur they sport is made of soundproofing sugar. Moving over to a more conservative approach to insects as pets, some people enjoy keeping mantids around, but there are a lot of things to consider. One of them is that it's crucial for these creatures to be housed individually. Luckily, each specimen needs only a small tank to be happy. These quirky insects are generally easy to own, since they don't need a lot of maintenance in space. Unfortunately, praying mantises don't live long, around a year tops. There are a lot of species of mantis, and depending on which of the ones you choose, you might end up with a more docile and quieter pet, or one that's a bit fussier and likes to make noise. Some like to have it for dinner, some like to have it as a pet. Who am I to judge? I'm talking about lobsters. The breeds that are preferable as pets are the crinoid squat lobster, the blue spiny lobster, and the reef lobster. All you need is an aquarium with a specific temperature and size for each breed. And they should be good to go. 
Quick tip though, most lobsters might not be fit to live with other fish. A separate container might be the best way to keep lobsters as pets. Okay, spiders as pets are surely not for everyone. But hear me out, their homemaking and hunting practices are really interesting to look at. More so, they are really silent. So they're a great pet if you have difficult neighbors. On the downside, spiders are quite the escape artists, so you need to invest in the correct environment. Based on the needs of the species you intend to keep, you might need to do a bit of extra research on things like heat or humidity requirements. Hyacinth macaws, or blue parrots, can make great pets if you're willing to invest in their proper care. They have really strong beaks, and most commercial cages simply won't do it for them. They can easily bend the wires and need stronger confinement. Since these birds have a large wingspan, they need a lot of space to exercise to be happy and healthy. They also demand a really long time commitment on your behalf, since they can live up to 60 years. These beautiful birds are really gentle and intelligent and are easy to train. Blue parrots also form a strong bond with their caretakers. So keep that in mind if you're the type that needs to travel a lot. They enjoy eating fruit. And with those powerful beaks, they can even crack a coconut open. Although they've gained a lot of popularity these days, raccoons are still not common pets. And for good reason. As cute as they are in social media videos, they require a lot of maintenance and are really unpredictable. For starters, raccoons are difficult to train. Damaging your home might become their primary hobby. They need a lot of space to roam and have strict dietary needs. You'll need to give your raccoons such products as dog food, fish, eggs, vegetables, and fruits. Don't go heavy on treats either, as raccoons are prone to obesity. On the other hand, they're really intelligent and fun to watch, especially because of their good memory and great problem-solving skills. You can also consider a raccoon as a pet if you're a night owl, as they are nocturnal animals too. For people that really like to take things slow, a snail as a pet might be the right choice. They don't take up a lot of space and feed on fruits and vegetables. On the other hand, they are mostly nocturnal animals. So if you're interested in watching them interact with their surroundings, you might need to stay up a bit late at night. Most snails live to be two to five years, while other larger species can live up to 15 years. If you stumble upon a garden snail and get attached to it, there's no way to know how old it is, though. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.